products grown in Georgia are all around us, with a geographic range stretching from the coastal plains to the Appalachian Mountains, Georgia boasts an agricultural diversity second to none. The following profile is one of Georgia's products that proudly calls itself Georgia Grown. After a long winter, there is no better way to celebrate the return of spring than with Georgia's first fruit crop of the year. On this episode of Georgia Grown, we'll take a look at a springtime treat that not only is the perfect companion to shortcake, it's really good for you too, the strawberry. They actually grow the plants in Prince Edward Island, Island Canada. And then they, they uh, dig the daughter plants, the buds, and they are shipped south. And then we plant them in October and they bear the next spring. The flavor of a strawberry is largely determined by growing conditions like weather, stages of ripeness, and variety, but oddly enough, not the size of the berry. So that means the big berries can be just as sweet as the small ones. From the time that we start seeing blooms start forming on the plants, it's probably about 20 to 35 days before we'll have a red berry and that's dependent a lot on the temperature and the number of days of sunshine that we have. Sunshine really kicks them into high gear and warmer temperatures really kick them into high gear. You can look at these green berries right here but you can look at him and he, he's symmetrical. He's got a good shape to him, a good look to him as well as this small one right here. And when you have that, that symmetry when they're small, generally they're gonna grow up to be good sound shaped berries the way you would want to. Because a strawberry is a product that because it's so perishable and so delicate, it's handled one time in the field. It is actually picked from the plant and placed in the tray. It is from the field to the grocery store. Strawberries also freeze well, so you can still enjoy them long after the season is over. This is what we're looking for right here. He is, he is ready. This, this is what I like to deliver to our customers right here. And this particular berry, you won't have to put sugar on him because he has made his own sugar and, this, and put it all inside this berry because once you pick him, he won't get any sweeter. But if you let him vine ripen to a bright red, he has the most amount of sugar that a strawberry can get in him. And he tastes pretty good too. 